guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episodes 4 and 5 of Twin Star Exorcist. Let's go ahead and get started. Episode 4 in 3, 2, 1, go. Okay. So, all I need to know is today, are, am I getting more shipping moments to team? <laughs> My potential ship. Probably. Benny. Hmm? Yeah. Well, of course, because of what happened to him in the past. Yeah, so in a way, this is your only family that you have, and you have to take care of them, and you have to appreciate them. I get the fact of why Rokoto was embarrassed, because, I mean, it happens, but something tells me, with Rokoto's past, it's gonna be a while. It, well, really, it already has been a while, and he still isn't over it. I mean, it, it it depends on the person. I mean, it's the same thing with, like, a death in the family, especially if it's someone that everyone truly cared about. Then if it's also an animal death in a family, that takes forever to get over, and everybody has their own ways of getting over it. And who knows if he's going to get over it. I mean, oh god, I hate to compare this to Demon Slayer, but you know what? We're going to compare it to Demon Slayer. I mean, with Tanjiro and his family getting killed and having only Nezuko. Just Nezuko. And you you feel like you did something. You're wrong. And that if he can he get over this? Is he going to get over this? Should he be uh, be able to get over it? I mean, it's pain. That's like almost like freaking. <laughs> freaking um, what's his face with fate? Oh my god! Like, the, mm, yeah. Let's talk about fate real quick. No, we're gonna do that later. But honestly, it just makes you think and wonder. Because, okay, let's say if he died. Do not spoil me if he does, but let's say he does. How is Rokuto going to get past that as well? Or, like, with Shido from Fate in his situations. So, do you want to go? Mm -hmm. 
And it takes time for someone to get over that. It could be years until he accepts it. Excuse me. Hmm. What's up? Yeah, and they are a handle because they are teenagers, are really. Teenagers, preteens. Yeah, but there are going to be people. Bleh, there are going to be people who are going to take advantage of that. <laughs> oh. I'll have to get my clothes after this episode before I watch the next one. Hmm? Yeah. Did they all die? See, uh uh. Mm mm, no. Uh. <laughs> you know, you can't be an ass all the time.
Hmm? Oh, there's something definitely in that room. Come on now. That's some spiritual pressure, mother ever. That's two down, one to go. Oh. You vanished as well. See, okay, hold up, wait. Time out, time out, time out, time out, time out, time out. Wouldn't it have been better just to take all three it, instead of just one? But because of the fact is it's Rokuro's quote-unquote brother, of course Rokuro's going to have to save him. He got that ass beat. It just seems like they take the most important or valuable person. But when they were talking about all the other people who were taken, it was the whole family or a college student. are but it's okay I don't like that laugh. Mm -mm. That makes you wonder if all those 11 people are still here somewhere. I mean, because of course, he cannot do this by himself. Mm -hmm. Attack on Titan.
Oh my god, it's gonna get eaten alive. <laughs> Oh my god, nope, 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 nope. <laughs> Damn it. Well, at least you got it stabbing. Thank God you made it in time. Jesus, you could have took... Like, I mean, would it killed you to have been a little bit faster? <laughs> of course, because it's important to you. Uh. Well, where the hell is Benny? There she is, taking her fucking time like a badass bitch. It's okay. <laughs> well, you didn't do anything, though. <laughs> <laughs> so once again they're slowly but surely they're getting their partnership but it, it's not there yet it's like a five percent <laughs> Yeah, you better fucking apologize to him. Aww. Precious baby boy, oh my god, I can't. Like, ha <laughs> 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 
They're adorable. Hmm? <laughs> Honestly, really, they're, they're, mm, not really siblings, but they're brother, a uh, bromance, and friendship is adorbs. Really sweet. Yeah. <laughs> you want to say thank you for helping? <laughs> Please. <laughs> oh, come on. Once again, polar opposites. I mean, still, it works for them. But going back to their partnership slash relationship, like I said, it's at 5% right now. I mean, I'm not expecting them to be at <laughs> mass capacity. <laughs> by episode four or five but no i mean there are going to be days where <clears throat> excuse me no <clears throat> excuse me again there are going to be days where they're going to see eye to eye and then there are going to be days where they're going to immediately agree they're polar opposites two different types of child prodigies in a way but benny is a more way more of a child prodigy than rokuro but they'll figure it out it just takes time now the relationship between rokuro and rogo is really really sweet they they are each other's family this family that they have together is all that they have left so no matter what they have to take each time and make it memorable and precious as hell because you don't know what could happen and that's like in any situation like whatever career anything you have to take all those memories like close to you and be very very precious with those memories because you don't know one day that person who you care about is gonna be gone just like that and who knows how you're gonna feel about that see it for a while but okay but I, I mean yeah like literally hold your friends your families any memories that you have with them very close because you don't know what the hell is gonna happen and especially in our current situation now with COVID and everything you really have to take everything and be very very careful because you don't know what could really happen but yeah this episode was good I just Praying to God, you know, we get more teamwork in this partnership. But, you know, just got to wait and be patient about that. And same thing with Benny. I kind of wish we get a little more on her because, I mean, we're four episodes into this. I, I'm not going to say I felt like I know Rokuro, like, immediately. There's still some more things that I want to know about him. But, yeah, I'm just hoping we get a little bit more on, the, on these two and their situations and their past, their hopes, their wants, their fears and anything else but go ahead and pause the video and i'll see you guys in one second for episode five 
Okay, episode five and three, two, one, go. Huh. This week is not my week, even though it is my week, but me! Well, yeah, because he has to be responsible. Hell, he almost could have gotten killed in the previous episode. How do you even sound like Neku? This might end bad. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I'm so tired. I have no energy. Mm. I felt like, mm, like when I started recording at one, I felt like on such a high, and now I feel like such a low. I'm like, oh my god. Uh. I hate when my energy is like this and it's only worse because of what's happening. to come check on you. I get that, but still.
Ja. <laughs> oh god, I, I bet you if I did that I'd be way worse, but like, oh, okay. I mean, are you writing with your dominant hand robotal? Because in a way, Benny is the leader. I mean... <laughs> exactly. You just don't have leadership skills, Rokuro. Don't, don't feel bad. You're, you're still good. Don't get me wrong, but... Oh, the kids disappeared, Jesus. So, 12, maybe? 15? Well, at least, you know. Mm hmm. Just take this thing. No! Mm. See, you know, maybe, you know, Benny should just be on a team on her own. I mean, you know, she just does it. That's a bad bitch. Like, you know, Rokuro can also handle it, but. Bad Apparently not, because you have to be told. Cody, are you crying? Oh, you 
you are because you're right here. Okay, uh, wait, no, dog. Under the cord, yes. Stop. There you go. Go play. you were careless. He's not going to want to fight you guys, right? Yeah, they were literally like, mm-hmm, yeah, I played the roles in with you. Let's make Neku, but with, like, redder hair. <laughs> um, you know, no, because Neku has blue eyes, so yeah. Heck, he also looks like Wes is from Shaman King. Why can't the rest of y'all have a sword as big as that? You gonna tell me he's gonna defeat all these demons in one blow? Oh my god. So basically almost what? OP as fuck? Okay, so now the more that I listen to him... That is him! <laughs> no, but really, it was just like, yes, let's play one of Deja's favorite has bought... <laughs> Oh. <laughs> 
But I bet you that's going to be one of the many reasons why you fell for him. That's really gross. Yeah, but he does know how to fight. No, you're that kid from the opening. <laughs> really? Don't worry, you'll see him later. That was the big emergency. <laughs> say that, but secretly you probably do.
Yeah, something tells me you might be meeting the rest of them. Probably, like, sooner. No. Later rather than sooner? Or sooner than later? Yeah. Yes, and cute, too. <laughs> Don't be jealous. Then he's 16? Oh, okay. Uh, uh, uh. I mean, but he's badass as fuck. Like, cool. Is it bad that I really want to see these two just stick it out? Like, soon <laughs> like next week <laughs> you guys really do <laughs> There's never a dull moment with these two that they don't act like husband and wife. I mean, ever since early episode one when they officially met, and then leading up into where, yeah, you guys are going to get married and have a kid. I'm like, huh? Yeah, they always fight like husband and wife. Like a fucking married couple, even though they're not really together. <laughs> but, okay. Uh, Shino. I like him. A lot. Of course he is portrayed. <laughs> By the same so many other of my husbandos. I, I mean, because at first I was like, yeah, you kind of sound like Neku, which is freaking Rothus' VA from Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> and then when I heard him a little bit more, I was like, no. You don't sound like him anymore. And then just hearing him say, like, one little line, it just clicked in my head. And I was like, yeah, that's fucking Tatsuya Gray. Fucking Gojo. <laughs> but... The fact that he is 16 and he is probably maybe the youngest of the 12 Guardians, that says something. I mean, he could also be a prodigy just as much as Benny because it seems like him and Benny may be trained together as well. I mean, there I don't think there's chemistry between these two. I think it's just a really good friendship or rivalry between the two, but I, there's something there between them. Would love to be a fly on that wall and find out what it is. Still want Rokuro and Shin to, you know, Shinman to, like, battle and do that as well, because, of course, it's gonna happen. <laughs> oh, they're gonna hang out together next week. Stop it, that's so fucking cute. My two best girls are gonna talk, even though, you know. See, this is what I kind of want. Because <laughs> it's funny because the old woman at the candy shop talked about it in the previous episode. <laughs> I, I mean, it, it's two girls technically fighting over Rokuro, but Benny, Benny right now doesn't really give Rokuro, like, the time of day while Myra is, like, giving her every, like, her all to be around him. And I do like that about her, but I really want to see more on her character to see if she's just something else rather than the girl best friend of the guy and she secretly just has a crush on him and everything you know because there are a lot of animes that kind of have done that i remember like one person and i we were talking about sort of online one day and they were really like, like they don't like asana because they automatically assume that asana is just you know just the girlfriend of kirito and no one else and such and so we had like this heated little debate about the fact that asana is more than just kirito's boyfriend 
she is her own person. She fights for herself and others and also Kirito when, you know, something happens to him. But I was like, I, I told I told my friend, I was like, clearly you ain't watch the anime all the way through because the ish that she does for him is also for herself. And I, I love girl characters like that. I mean, because it makes you be like, I want to be like them. I want to be like a strong, independent woman. Or when you see a guy character like that, and I want to be badass as fuck. Whether you are getting inspiration from girl characters or guy characters, it really doesn't matter. Because it's just the values and the relationships and the lessons that they teach you at the end of the day. That's the one thing why I love anime so much. Because I feel like anime gives you a lot more lessons than regular television would. I'm just saying. Because, you know. Because mm. I can't think of... Well, with some of the shows that I, wa I watch from the past and up until now. Yeah, they've given me lessons, but not as much as anime has. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, both episodes were good as hell. I'm mm, I thought they were going to make me cry, like especially episode 4 <laughs> and the situation between Rokuro and Rogi, but no, I mean it gave me feels and and I love that, but I was like ready to cry like I did when I watched March Gibson like a lion cuz that ish made me cry hella bad but yeah other than that guys that was my reaction review towards episodes four and five of twin star exorcist if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially on next friday for patreons and next thursday for everybody else for episode six and seven bye guys